So we're back, finally. Yeah, welcome back to the Basic Podcast. That's Matt. Eli. And uh, we... It's, we missed last week. We missed last week <laughs> because of... It was another concussion <laughs> issue. Yeah, I had that another... Like, I, ca- I had to relapse from that coma. And Essentially, we healed up really quickly, and then it just, like, struck right back. Yeah, it just bombshelled us. <laughs> I got to close the door all the way. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Quality. Quality content. Okay. So, Matt. Yeah. What have you been up to? Uh, me? Uh, well, I was in my coma. Last week. Really just playing PUBG, honestly. Yeah. PUBG's a good game. If you don't know what PUBG is, it's short for Players, Player Unknowns Battlegrounds. Yeah. Which is just a, a really, it's just a pain to say. It was a really popular game on Steam. And pretty much the whole yeah. PC, but now it's like taking the gaming community by storm. I mean, now it's on Xbox. Yeah, now it's everywhere. It's becoming pretty mainstream. Yeah. So it's it's a pretty big it's, deal now. It's a battle royale kind of game. If you don't know what that means, it's like every man for himself kind of thing where you have to be the last one to survive. And you have to parachute down on a... On a <laughs> battle royale. Don't. You know what that reminds me of? Don't. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> People are just gonna be so confused. But yeah, yeah. But yeah, so it's a fun game, and if you if you win it, you feel really accomplished. So both me and Matt have one win in. Honestly, Eli, uh, he sent me a message uh, a few weeks ago. You know, with the him winning winning around winner winner chicken dinner, is uh, is what it says. Yeah. And he was like, Matt, I won, I won. And I'm like, uh, well, that's cool. Like, I, that's pretty neat. Like, I'm, I'm proud of you. And then <laughs> He didn't even know, like, and he then didn't even play the game, like, at all. <laughs> After uh, I started, I, I downloaded the game and actually started playing it myself, uh, I realized how, how significant that actually was. Because so each match has 100 different people in it, and these aren't just – computer players that you shoot down no problem no these are real people you have to fight in the game to get to the yeah. top when i finally got a win and i was like screaming as loud as i could in in my house like it was just like you were yeah I actually because you sent me a text it was so calm it was like hey eli look i did it <laughs> that's after i like let it all out after i won <laughs> <laughs> We're so lame. Like, anybody who doesn't play this game is like, What's, you guys are idiots. Well, yeah, I feel like there's a like a meme category there that isn't really exercise. It could be, like, like my teacher said, I'd never amount to anything. Well, here I am today. With four w- chicken dinners. Winning, <laughs> winning my first match of PUBG. What now? And you made a meme about it. Yeah, I did. It was just you sitting there all regal with your crocodile bag, <laughs> like... When you win your first round in PUBG <laughs> and it says greetings inferior. <laughs> <laughs> it finally is actually taken off on that that app. It's actually really? how many it, likes it might hit main feed. How many likes now? Like forty. <laughs> so I am getting close to main feed status. Dang. I might just repost it though. <laughs> there is a I know there are people who aren't even interested in games, but uh, uh, there was this weird thing that happened last time was you can have vehicles in the game. And if you oh, get run over, amazing. if you get run over by a vehicle, you're basically dead, and you have it's, to restart it's a, the whole match. One of the main strategies for killing people in the game, like it's just driving really fast, avoiding gunfire, and just hitting them with the car. And so, uh, we were doing a team match where me, Matt, and my brother Zach were all on a team, and so I was I was coming in a separate way, and I was sneaking up, and I heard this car come up to my right. And I start shooting at it because if I can shoot at it and get them, you know, scared that I'll hit them and kill them, they might drive away. But instead, they just drove straight at me. And so the most unlikely thing happened. (laughs) The car catches on fire at the very last second before it hits me and explodes. And in this weird... Not necessarily before it hits you. Like right as it hits me, it it explodes. (laughs) And I only lost half of my health 
but everybody in the car died. That was like three different people. Yeah. And I f- it was unexplainable. It shouldn't have happened. Bodies just went flying out of the vehicle. <laughs> they must have been so mad because who knows how long they took to get to that point. And then suddenly everything's just gone. That's what makes the game pretty enjoyable because you're going to end up spending like 30 minutes to an hour, honestly, yeah, on a really lengthy match. Yeah. I mean, it has a time limit, actually. Like, it'll say match will end in, yeah. you know, however It's probably long. 45 minutes then. Yeah. I'm betting. But Because um, I know I've spent a solid 40 on one of them before. They're pretty fun. The, b- this, the best part is, like, you know somebody's spending all their time, like, that up to that point, and you just end them. <laughs> <laughs> like, they came all the way. Just to be ended by you. Because the map is huge. It's I think it's bigger than GTA's map, right? Grand yeah. Theft Auto's map. Yeah. Yeah, it's huge. And <coughs> it's it's amazing because you have to you can travel across the entire map, collecting all the weapons you think you'll need, and then suddenly you just end everything's up wiped out, and you just spent thirty minutes for nothing. And that's most games actually. Yeah. I try to be a good sport when I get killed like that, because. Uh, especially when somebody like earned the kill they got on me like if they snuck up on me and i was doing something like if they get a good kill in i'll be like good on you hope you win kind of thing yeah but then there's those times where it's just so unfair <laughs> and you just either totally get murdered or you just <laughs> brutally murder somebody yeah. that you didn't even deserve it <sighs> anyways talked for 7 minutes about PUBG. PUBG. So uh, Eli here, he got a he got a car this week. Somehow, I, while well, he was not this week. I got it at well, the la- very yeah. beginning of the month. I didn't really talk it about was it. Okay. Somehow he got it like right after his his coma hit him uh, again. I don't really understand how the deal went through, but I guess you were signing papers in the hospital. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So he's driving now. It, it's a stick shift, so. Here, everybody. Oh, oh, you, you're that kind of person. Uh, not yet. <laughs> not yet. I don't have that much practice, but um, I've be, I've been surprisingly doing better when I'm not riding with other people. Like I yeah. can drive really smoothly if I don't have somebody in the passenger seat that is either uh, talking to me about how to drive it or yeah. is or I'm like trying to impress. For example. Yesterday we tried to record this podcast, and I at my house, and I drove to Matt's house, no problem, in the car. Like I barely had any practice at all. I drove to Matt's house, fine. He's about you're about 15 minutes away from me. Yeah, yeah. And so I drove to Matt's house. We get there. I find out this that this piece I'm using for the microphone right now, I left it here at home. So I was like, great, we can't record tonight unless we either go to Walmart and try to find one. Or, or I go back to my house and spend another 30 minutes going there and back to get it, to get this one piece yeah. that converts the audio. And so Matt was like, let's just go to Walmart. Let's, I was like, let's go to Walmart because I was like, Shh, I want to ride with, you know, you and your new rod and, and everything. And he and used the word, the whip. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, for one, like, I, I like riding. Like, that's my, like, it's one of my, my favorite things. <laughs> All right. To do. But let me ask you, that: did you enjoy riding in my car? <laughs> I got what I expected to get out of it, like which was a decent thrill. A decent thrill. Yeah. Me stalling out on the highway. Yeah. Like literally burning the rubber. Like you could smell it when I took off. Yeah, there were, there was a few stall out. I was really tense because I kind of wanted to be like, yeah, I drove well on the way here, so I must drive well with you in the car. But I just, it wasn't as great. I mean, you did some impressive burnouts i guess with the <laughs> from i i genuinely i couldn't look over at you and see your reaction because of how intensely i had to focus on my driving it goes from a, a stall out to a burnout essentially yeah like i stalled i was like start up the car because <laughs> i was like i'm not staying here any longer but yeah it's a honda civic right yeah honda civic lx 2001 it's green Paint's chipping off the hood and the yeah. and the trunk. It's a starter car for sure. Definitely. But 
it's it's nice to have that that independence i guess yeah but so we went to walmart we didn't have the piece we needed i drove back that's when i stalled out i ended up just dropping matt off and just going home defeated <laughs> first a coma now this what more do i have to put up with world i just need to record the podcast <laughs> Well, I mean, leaving that piece here could have been like a, a byproduct of the coma, some temporary, you know, memory loss and other. For other sure, things. because I thought for sure I had picked it up, like because I remember <laughs> dropping it and I was like, I need that. And I thought I remembered picking it up and putting it yeah. in the backpack. But then I get there and it's not there. I come home and it's exactly where it landed on the floor. So must have been that dang coma, man. I don't know what else to say. Coma. God. But yeah, so I'm going to get some practice on that car, replace the wipers, you know, get the oil He'll changed. He'll be a pro driver in no time. Yeah. Soon you'll see me tearing up the Talladega Speedway. Have you been to Talladega? No. <laughs> I've never been to the Speedway. I drove by it, though. I went on a camping trip with Mitch and Nazar. We oh, went, really? We went down there for uh, his bushcraft stuff. But yeah, he'll be driving me everywhere because I, d I don't really like to drive. <laughs> okay, if I don't get better, though, Matt's not going to want to ride That's with true. That's because true. I specifically was like, so, you want me to drive in the next vlog pod? He goes, no. I specifically said, Eli, please don't die on your way home when he left my house. <laughs> when we talked about how when Kay told you yeah. to, to drive safe, but you almost got was, killed. The thing was... I saw that coming, you know. You s what? Like, that I was going to have an incident like that. Oh, yeah. Like, after she said it, I'm like, okay, I'll be extra cautious because th it'll probably, it's more likely to happen. So, you telling me to be cautious and then me making a conscious effort to be cautious made it so that I didn't die? <laughs> yes. So, you doomed me <laughs> but also <laughs> saved me at the same time? Yeah, that was the intent. So you just like to play play with fate now? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> well, if I'm being honest, I do like to play with fate. But that's just how that's just me. If you didn't see the podcast where we talked about telling someone to drive safe, basically, you tell someone to drive safely, it's gonna make them anxious and think that something's gonna happen to it's them. It's gonna attract negativity. So, for example, uh, Kay told Matt, you know, Kay's wife told Matt to drive safe to my don't, house don't hit it specifically said don't hit don't hit anything. a deer don't hit or, anything yeah and he almost hit a dog yeah so but if he if she hadn't said that he also wouldn't have been i, I was literally enough. thinking about it r before it happened it was in my head as my active thought yeah when it happened so so you're dooming them to have something happen like, i left town and i was like oh yeah case said don't hit anything Better start focusing. <laughs> Whoa, a dog. <laughs> it was a big one, too. The kind that'll take your front bumper off. Not a chihuahua. <laughs> yeah. So what was that other that other thing you were bringing up? Uh, the car and... With the car? No, the c there was the car and then something else you oh, said. Oh, I about. was going to ask you how you pronounce the word lilac. Oh. Uh, well, now I'm forgetting how I said it. Okay. Lilac? Yeah. That's it. Lilac. Lilac. And I, I thought that was a, that was kind of funny the way you said it. Like, that's all. But, like, we were talking about GTA, right? Yeah, and, and replicating the suit. In Grand Theft Auto, you can, you know, customize your clothes. A lot of customization. To, like, only to a certain point, though. It uh, kind of sucks. Well, there's, like, belts, no... Uh, yeah. Like, if you're wearing a certain kind of pants, you can't wear a watch. Like, and what is up with that? A certain type of shoe, you can't wear the, the yeah. a certain pants. Like, I've, uh, I'm customizing my character. I've got these nice suit pants, this nice vest, and I put on this nice watch. And then suddenly my pants change into, like, these these <laughs> these sweatpants. <laughs> like, these really okay. baggy sweatpants. I'm actually laughing really hard now because <laughs> it's not just a GTA thing. What do you mean? So, like, for a while now, I've had my Xbox username 
be the wrong name. Uh, if you don't know, my own one username is AK Baby Do, and it always will be. Yeah. yeah. And that's what. So I changed it over to the proper name. And anyway, while I was in it, I was like, Oh, I have an avatar because you know Xbox has the avatar. Yeah. And I was like, well, I haven't fooled with this since I had a 360. And it wasn't even the same one I had made, so I'm like, I don't know where this one came from. Unless it was just a randomly generated Probably just one. randomly generated. So I was like, I'll fix it and, you know, change it up. So I'm like, customizing the outfits and stuff. And I put this watch on, my avatar and Xbox, and I sweatpants. No. Instantly pops up. You know what we ought to do? We ought to go to town with these nice fancy watches with, like, suit vests and just sweatpants. <laughs> it's like... If you're wearing the wrong pants, they just disappear. Were they the gray sweatpants? Yeah, yeah they were. In the <laughs> Xbox avatar? Yeah. They were gray sweatpants. God. And they're the gray sweatpants in GTA, too. But, but so, so anyways, in the GTA Grand Theft Auto, the customization, he was working, he was telling me that he was going to recreate uh, Ga- pink Gatsby's suit. pink suit from The Great Gatsby, and that's one of our favorite movies, yeah. if you didn't know. It's it's great great recommend um, Solid. but so he was describing the color and he said lilac and it it tripped me up so bad i was like what did you say <laughs> well for one in the game it, that's the actual the actual color says yeah, lilac. The description instead of a pink suit it's lilac <laughs> Freaking lilac <laughs> you know what if you're wrong what if i'm pronouncing it right what if you're pronouncing it right I gotta look this up, man. <laughs> lilac. Okay, Google. How do you pronounce lilac? That's pronounced lilac. Okay, you got me. He's got it. Thank you, Google. See, uh, uh, oh yeah, this was how I was gonna, I was gonna bring this up. So like, it's not that like. See, I pronounce a lot of things incorrectly. Like I think there was another word like uh, two two weeks ago that I was gonna ask you about, but now I can't remember what it is. Yeah, but see, like, so I have a pretty strong uh, like kind of like a lazy draw on how I speak and stuff. Yeah. And I've thought about it many times. Like I can change it. I'm one of the, like I have the ability to change my accent mm-hmm. into how I'd want it to be. But then I'm like, if I change it, it's just gonna be. It's gonna seem so fake for so long. If I change it, who am I? It's not who am I, but people are going to be like, they're going to be hard on me for a long time yeah. if I stop talking the way that they're used to. They'll be like, why, why'd you change your voice? What did you do? What? What's different? Why are you talking like this? I thought about talking to like new people online, like, yeah. uh, cause I actually have some friends who, you know, have friends who've never met me. Yeah. And I was like, what if I just become a totally different person to this one person? Yeah. Like, uh. There was this one girl who liked who liked to talk on the phone, and so for the first first two times she called me and like would talk to me. She's just one of one of the friends from Jack. Hey, no, it's Eli. I didn't do that. I did like this British accent, and I led her on to believe that I had actually gone to Britain for like three years. Yeah, and like I had stayed there for long enough, and you know just kind of yeah. adopted it. <laughs> and <laughs> she bought it for like yeah. the first month, and then I was finally just like. It's too much effort. Yeah, it was too much effort. And I was like, meh. Nah. So, yeah, I think about that a lot, like, when I'm going to make the transition. I think, I, actually, I'm going to have to do it sometime. Really? Well, I get tired of the, this voice, honestly. I don't get tired of it. Sometimes I sometimes <laughs> I make fun of it just just because, but, like, I don't hate it or anything. Yeah. Uh, like, I, obviously, this isn't something... Uh, you really know about, but like, you know, Jamie Dornan, the main actor in the Fifty Shades movie. Yeah, he he's like has a deep Scottish or Irish. The guy accent. who plays Christian Grey. Yeah, and literally, the uh, in each movie, there's like one scene in each movie where it, he completely breaks American his American accent, and it just goes full Scotland. <laughs> and you're just like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Why? It's accidental, like it's not intended. Oh, okay. There's just something that he can't say properly, and he just dubs back to his normal accent, and it shows through really. I'm trying really to think bad. of <laughs> something to say in his Scottish accent that he would say in Fifty Shades. 
It's in the first one. It's a scene after he saves her from getting ran over by a bicyclist. Ooh, Ooh romantic. And then it's like, <laughs> don't ever do that again or something. But really Scottish. I'm. I hesitate to do accents. Yeah. Because I don't want to do them wrong, and I don't want to offend the people. <laughs> so like some people, and then I was literally just gonna say there are some people who are just too damn good at doing accents. Yeah. That it makes everyone else who tries just feel terrible. <laughs> You'll see a video of people who can perfectly imitate uh, so many different accents. Like I can do a British accent, but it there's specific British accents yeah. for where in England you're from. So, like, I can do one and then be like, oh, yeah, that's that kind of British accent. And then people will be like, no, it's not, you know, just yeah. and I don't know. I was I was going to say something like anal beads or something in Scott. <laughs> 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 just to <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure that he actually says anything like that, like specific. Really? Yeah, he's pretty like standoffish he tries to keep it uh proper proper like a proper gentleman <laughs> so uh what's next i don't i don't know what you mean as far as topic for the wise. future what's yeah. next in our future as humanity no like right now the right now we're doing the podcast so, like, I was thinking, uh, like, this is something that I've been, like, okay. I've really had strongly the past two weeks. Now we're on a new thread. Yeah. If you didn't guess. So, like, probably the past two weeks, and it's a reoccurring issue that I, I always have. Like this is, like, life. something that's going on in your life? That yeah. Okay. And it's where, like, I have this deep, uh, like, disassociation with being a human you don't want to be a human it's like it, i don't it feels unnatural i'd rather be a furry is that what you're no. are you coming out <laughs> as a furry now i don't i don't like the furry the furry game Me either <laughs> no like like okay as a as in someone who strives to be an expressive person i'm a deeply unexpressive person <laughs> Like, at my core, that's that's me. Like, sometimes I'll hear people speak, like, this is, like, one of the weirdest things I have, but, like, I'll hear people talk, and it'll almost, almost make me want to throw up just listening to people speak. Because of how excited they are at something? No, just because the words. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I, I listen to the words, and I think about, the cultivation of them, how they came to be, the history of speaking. Of the words? The language. And the growth process of growing up, learning to speak the words, and then exchanging them with others. And it just makes me sick to my stomach. So you don't like society? <laughs> you don't like <laughs> how humans came to be? Sometimes I don't. Like, sometimes I really don't. Like, like if I'm ever, like, we're getting deep here. Like, angry, mad. Like, I mean, not angry, but like, literally, like, ragingly mad. There are certain words I can't even say because it would it would just, I would hate myself so much. Like, what words? Like, any basic word. Like, door, or car. <laughs> like, you'd rather say vehicle? <laughs> like, I'd rather not speak at all. <laughs> Automobile? But I don't know how I've been thinking about that recently. So you just hate how humans have evolved to the point that we have been so complicated? No, it's not the complication of it. It's the simplicity of it that disgusts me. Like, we've come so far, but we're still so it basic? It seems so basic to me. <laughs> it seems overly basic. Are we being contradictory now because of our podcast name? <laughs> no. <laughs> Like, I'll hear people talk, and I'll be like, damn, damn, they sound so stupid. Like, so stupid. And then I'll be, like, I'd, talking. I'd ask you on a normal conversation to say someone specific so I know what you're talking about, but I know we're on the podcast. Well, then, like, I'll be talking sometimes, right? Yeah. And, like, I'll be like, well, damn, I don't 
I don't want to sound like them. You don't want to sound stupid? So I'd rather just not speak. <laughs> so next time I see you, someone talking to you and then you're just like not speaking, I'll know. I think I know what you're talking about. Like, yeah. like somebody's talking to you and you just know that they don't have a better vocabulary than that. Yeah. But you don't want to speak about what they're talking about because then you'll seem like you have a terrible vocabulary maybe <laughs> let, me, let me let me think uh i don't know man that's just weird it's it's been tearing me up these past two weeks strong i'll pray for you bro it's like i'd rather just be mute we gotta pray for our fellow humans <laughs> you know you know what fellow human is doing great Who? elon freaking musk He's doing good. He's doing amazing. He launched that Falcon Heavy rocket the other day. It was phenomenal. Uh, <coughs> do you notice like he has that speech impediment? It's yeah. like uniquely yeah. his. It's so sexy. I wonder if it's him just trying to not sound human. <laughs> <laughs> you think people are are people on to him like they are on Mark Zuckerberg where they're just like No, there's a big difference. Like Elon Musk might have a robotic like voice kind of and but he has human responses to things. Yeah. Mark Zuckerberg for one looks physically looks like he could be he could be a robot. Like he could be just this fleshy body of uh, that was created in a lab. Yeah. He looks really weird all the time. <laughs> he looks really weird. New face filters on Instagram today. <laughs> his resp- his interviews are weird, his dialogues weird. He's got a weird personality. But Elon, you can tell he's like a person. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Like, you could tell he could play video games and enjoy them. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of my favorite quotes about him is he's like, a, it's a, on not giving up. And he goes, uh, I, would, I would never give up unless I was completely incapacitated, you know, like blonde. Uh Deaf. Blind, deaf, and crippled? E- yeah. <laughs> Blind, deaf, and crippled. That's the only way I'd ever give up. <laughs> and then some blind, deaf, and crippled person like, <laughs> I have no reason left to live. <laughs> oh. That's depressing. Okay. But he's really cool. <laughs> like, yeah. I would I would quote his accent, but you know how I am with accents. I mean, I could try, but I was watching him give an interview on the rocket, and he was talking about how how much of a success it is, and how yeah, how awesome it's gonna be. Cause he had, they hadn't launched it yet. He's saying how awesome it, it's gonna be when it goes up, and it was pretty awesome. Cause the the booster rockets that went up with it that brought it most of the way up, they separated and came back down and landed. By themselves. Yeah, he, uh, SpaceX, in general, was the first, first ever, any organization to be able to reuse a rocket. Yeah, it's phenomenal. And it wasn't like the first try either. They exploded the first couple rockets. Yeah, they have a video <laughs> that specifically says how not to land a booster <laughs> rocket, and they have like this really goofy music playing as their their rockets land and then blow up. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's funny because they posted it. It's not funny because things are blowing up. <sighs> well. 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 Were we, uh, were we going to start ending the podcast sooner? Because we had talked about that a little bit. Oh Some yeah. people were complaining they're a little long. It'll be, we'll be keeping them shorter from here on. That way, uh. People won't be as scared to click on them. Yeah, because people see that 51 minute to 45, you know, they're like, see, do I have time for this? You know? See, they see a three, and they're like, you know, I can work with that. Yeah. But a four or five, they're like, hold up. Exactly. I'm not trying to watch a movie here. Like, I see something that's an hour and 40 minutes. I'm like, I don't know. Definitely yeah, not. Yeah, I have two, actually. <laughs> Like, uh, even some podcasts that I know are short that are on YouTube, I'm like, no thanks, you know? 
And even then, it's like, uh, is it worth an hour just to s watch the clickbait of the title? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. Usually not. Well. So. I guess this is soon to be it. Soon, soon to be, but soon to be it for tonight. Is it? Is it it for tonight? Uh, no. No. We have something else to talk about? We've got about five more minutes, guys. <laughs> five more. So, so it's going to take us two minutes to wrap up. like officially. Retouching what I was talking about with this not human thing. Oh, okay. You figured it out? It's so weird. Okay. <laughs> Go. No, like, I've considered like trying to fix it, but there's just no point. What do you mean? Like trying to fix the human race or trying to fix yourself? Like myself and this, this issue that I deal with. So, like, sometimes I'm in the shower, right? And naturally, I can feel, I can feel the polar opposite of uh, this this thing. The the, the you know the the desire to to disassociate with with oneself. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to follow. <laughs> so like give me imagine give me you're in the shower time. and you fantasize. Your your greatest fantasy, right? Okay. Have you done that? Like, I'm not saying like a sexual fantasy. It can be a culmination of fantasy. Yeah. Okay. Like okay. I wish to succeed, and this is what I want for myself. Yeah. And like you can feel that, mm -hmm. right? Like for me in the shower, for some reason I can feel it stronger. Stronger specifically when you're in the yeah. shower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting a little weird. <laughs> but like, okay. But, like, the thing is, I, I mean, I get what you're talking about. You don't have anything you're doing. You don't have anything you're trying to apply your mind to. Like, if I was just sitting here on my phone, I'd be on my phone. I wouldn't yeah. be specifically thinking about my future. <coughs> well, like, I know I can think of an idea and even something in real life, and it'll feel real. Yeah. But if I'm not in the shower, it doesn't feel real. It usually just feels fake. Hmm. I kind of feel like I'm your therapist. <laughs> <laughs> you opening up so to like me, Matt? <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> Finally, we're friends. <laughs> and people, like, talk, and they have all these things that, like, go this way and that way in their life. And they expect people to react this way. Yeah. But for me, it's like I'm choosing this because I need to. You're choosing to live... As a human being? <laughs> uh, like I'm choosing to respond and react the way I do simply because... That's how people would want you to yeah. respond and react? Hmm. Okay, I think I see what you're saying. You're saying that the way you live your life, you're choosing to live it based on how you think people will want you to live it. Sometimes. No, sometimes. I'm saying that it's not in the sense that that's not how I want to live it. It's the sense that. So you do want to live it how people see you? Man, sometimes. <laughs> Damn. We're going to have to have a whole podcast dedicated to this. Like, I never get over the feeling. Like, never. Hmm. Like, even if I'm, I have to be fully encapsulated in something to lose it. But it's the feeling of complete disassociation. And the joy that could follow. Like, you'd be at peace with yourself if you weren't always trying to appease other people? No, like, I'd be at peace with myself if there was nothing of me to exist. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is some deep <laughs> stuff, Matt. Do, do you need a therapist? No. <laughs> well, I work through this stuff in my head a lot, but... It's really just thinking about choices and how life ends up where it does. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, I d it doesn't even matter, though. Like, it doesn't matter that this choice was made. Yeah. Because guess what? I could have made a different choice. Could have. Would have ended with the same outcome. Probably. I know it would have. Because almost everything, choice I make, ends up the way I wanted it to. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, well. It's exactly what I expected to happen. But you'd rather not have those choices? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? I mean, maybe 
there could be like I don't know. You want to you want to hear something deep from me? What? Like when I sit here and think about space, like I see like the live streams from the rocket where you can see space, you can see the earth, you can see things. If I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about space and I see enough stuff about space, I will live my day differently. I'll be like, you guys all go about your day, but you never think about the fact that there's a giant rock orbiting our giant rock. I can understand that because you know what I mean? as a kid I was crazy into space stuff. I'm crazy. crazy. I'm still crazy into space stuff. I tried to stay crazy into space stuff, but I didn't feel like people were thinking big enough. Nobody's about ever it. thinking big <laughs> enough about space. They're never thinking big enough about it, so I, I got discouraged about that situation. Like, I get a thrill from thinking about space and thinking yeah. about going to Mars. However, if you go, hey, would you want to go to Mars? People just don't process it all the way. Like, they don't sit and think, I'd literally be going to an entirely different planet because this is all they know. Yeah. And if you, if, s since I would spend so much time thinking about it, I'd be like, oh my God, that'd be amazing. Like, to experience something so new, yeah. it would be incredible. And it would just blow my mind. And so I, I like, get a thrill from thinking about those things. And I feel like everybody's missing something by not thinking about it. Like, that's something yeah. that I think about all the time. So. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, so this is another part of what I'm thinking about. <laughs> are we going to wrap this part up? Maybe not. I don't know. How long are we going to go for this one then? Less than 40. Less than 40. Okay. We got So like some people can say statements like like this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Thing I've ever seen. Or I can't say that. You know, I just can't. You can't? I can't say it. Why? It's not real. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's fake. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Well, I mean, I can't live in that mode. Like some people can live in in that way, mm -hmm. and I that's. But I can't. I, I, I almost can't wish. Live in that I way. almost okay. I almost wish I could be that simple, yeah. and enjoy those things how they enjoy them. Yeah, me too. But I can't. But I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so it's it's annoying in that. I regard, get what you're talking so. about now. I think so. Yeah, but then like, like I get revolted about it. Though. Yeah. Well, like that people are like that. <laughs> this makes it sound like we're so <laughs> higher up than everyone else. Like <laughs> no. you simple people. No, it's not because I would be okay with being like that. I mean, if you could. But it's more of a disgust yeah. that I feel. Yeah. <laughs> like. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys don't get it, maybe you're just too simple, <laughs> too basic. <laughs> I think we found the meaning <laughs> of our podcast. <laughs> What's the point? What's the point in being as complicated as your mind is when all these people are simple and have those simple thoughts? Well, uh, it's not the simpleness. It's uh, self-awareness versus unawareness. There you go. And I personally don't like my self awareness that's what it is i'd say i only yeah i see what you mean you only don't like it because you're disconnected from people yeah i don't like okay how self aware i can be but if everybody was self aware it consumes me if everybody was self aware and you could work through those self awareness problems with people who are self aware well i feel like if everyone is self aware the world would just explode <laughs> Basically, if nobody had any bull, <laughs> the world would be perfect. Yeah. And it would explode. <laughs> be too perfect. I mean, you need a healthy amount of bull. That's how you keep going forward. <laughs> Just pretend everything's fine. Everything's infinitely positive, no matter what. Just continue on. And that'll prove to you. It's horrible. That that's the truth. Well, it's horrible. All right, are we done? We done. All right. <sighs> Thank you for watching the basic podcast. Yep. Here, here's to like enjoying a nice float through the eternal abyss. If you enjoy simple-mindedness, <laughs> give us. Don't, don't watch again. <laughs>
If you enjoy open-mindedness, pound that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Pound that subscribe button. Hit the bell thing, too, so you can find out when we post, because sometimes we don't. And sometimes we post at irregular times for no reason. Open your third eye straight to the subscribe button. Stop using button. fluoride. <laughs> <laughs> no fluoride. <laughs> no pesticides. Just drugs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the Basic Podcast. That's Matt. And that's Eli. See you later. Good. good goodbye. Get. Get out. Goodbye. Bye.